hello back again two in one day so here we go the next little tutorial I'm, I'm going to do is to show you how to make these little tiny rainbow of hope key rings very very simple very very quick and I've, I've loved making them I made them I spent Saturday hooking up lots and lots and lots and um, it, just something very satisfying about going round and round in a circle in bright rainbow colours. Just the kind of mindfulness that probably we could all be doing with a bit at the moment. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, let me tell you about the yarn that I use. So this is DMC Petra uh, and this is a number three so it's, it's a slightly thicker one than the one that I did use for my heart tutorial earlier on. Um, and I use a 2.5 millimeter hook with this one. Again, an absolute multitude of colors to choose from. So I went for brights for my rainbow, seven colors in total. Um, and how the rainbow works is we're just gonna make a circle one round in each of the colours and then we just simply fold it in half and the the semicircle, if you like round that joins it all together is in red and that finishes off the little rainbow so it's really really not difficult it's quite little and it's quite fiddly so i hope that my demonstration is good and clear i realize with each video tutorial that i'm doing that i keep moving my hands up and i need to learn to not do that so i'm going to try and keep my hands down near the table as much as possible it's that real temptation to pull it up close to you to see what you're doing but i will try and make sure that i do keep it as clear as possible for you um again the pattern i will write in a little bit of blurb underneath this video um i think that's it let me get my bits together and i will be back in a minute Okay, let's get started. So I've got all my yarn, which is the DMC Petra, and this is a number three thread. And I'm working with a two and a half millimeter hook. The first color that we're going to start with is the violet because we're kind of working from the bottom of the rainbow up. So make a magic ring. And into that magic ring, we need to work six double crochet. One. Two, three, four, five. Now on the sixth stitch, which is the last stitch of this round, we're going to work the final yarn over in our next colour so that we're ready to move on to our second round. So start off the double crochet as usual and then for your yarn over, grab your next colour, which is the indigo and finish off your stitch with the indigo. Right, this bit, we're now going to just close up the magic ring. It's a little bit fiddly this bit, but it's worth persevering with. This is kind of the hardest round in a way, I guess because it's the one that we've started with and everything is still really very tiny. But you can see we've got the magic ring in the violet and we've got the first we're ready to start with our um, second round because the indigo is now in place so for the second round we're going to work two double crochet into each stitch from the first round I'm going to show you how I'm going to sort my ends out in a minute let me just get this round done because and it's a little bit bigger and not quite so fiddly. So one, two, three and four in the next stitch, five and six in the next stitch, seven and eight into the next stitch, nine and ten into the next stitch then do double crochet number 11 and again because we're coming up to the last stitch of this round we're going to work the final yarn over 
in our next rainbow colour, which is the blue. So bring your blue in and work your yarn over in that. Now, let me just show you what I'm going to do with all of these other ends. They will eventually all be uh, tied up and hidden away inside the rainbow, inside the rainbow. So just snip them off just to get them out of the way. Otherwise, it all gets a little bit over yarny. And let's uh, start round three. So round three, we need to end up with 18 stitches. And to do that, we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the second stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So one double crochet increase, one double crochet increase, so that by the end of round three, we have got 18 stitches. So one two and three are both going into the second stitch four is on its own five and six are in together seven is on its own eight and nine are in together ten on its own, 11 and 12 in together, 13 on its own, 14 and 15 in together, 16 on its own, 17 and 18 together, and because 18 is the last stitch of the round, we're going to work that yarn over in our next colour, which is green. Get all your other yarns over to one side and just again snip your blue because we're done with him. So onto your green round and we are now going to increase again so that at the end of round four we have got 24 stitches so to do this we're going to do one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next and then two double crochets into the third stitch i'm going to count as i do it to make sure that by the end of the round we have got 24 stitches so one on its own two on its own three and four together five on its own six on its own seven and eight together nine on its own ten on its own eleven and twelve together Thirteen on its own, fourteen on its own, fifteen and sixteen together, seventeen on its own, eighteen on its own, nineteen and twenty together, twenty-one on its own, twenty-two on its own, 23 and 24 together 24 is the last stitch of the round so we're going to grab our next color which is yellow and work the final yarn over in that color so that we're ready then to move on to our next round just snip off your green and move that out of the way so you might notice that where we're working in rounds and increasing in the same place we're beginning to get a bit of a uh, hexagon shape uh, so what we're going to do I'm going to now swap my uh, singles and doubles around so that we can um, try and, and avoid getting that shape so we are now going to go into round five and at the end of round five I want 30 stitches and to do this we need to work if we were following the same pattern three double crochets on their own and then two into the next stitch but because I'm like I say I want to slightly alternate the pattern I'm going to do my increases first so I'm going to do one and two in the same stitch 
then I'm going to do three on its own, four on its own, and five on its own. Six and seven are going to be together. Eight's on its own, nine's on its own, and ten is on its own. Eleven and twelve together. Whoops. Eleven and twelve together. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen on their own. Sixteen and seventeen together. Eighteen. 19 and 20 on their own. 21 and 22 together. 23 on its own. 24 on its own. 25 on its own. 26 and 27 together. 28 on its own. 29 on its own and 30 on its own. 30 is the last stitch so we're going to get our next colour which is orange and work our yarn over in, whoops, work our yarn over in the orange. We can snip off our yellow because we're finished with him. And now let's work our next round in the orange. So you can see by swapping the uh, the spacing, we, that's kind of got us more back to a circle again. So I'm going to do the same in the next round as well. At the end of this round, we need 36 stitches, which is going to be four, one, two, three, four double crochets all in their own stitch, and then an increase in the fifth one. So one. Two, three, four, all on their own. Five and six are going to be in the same stitch. Seven on its own, eight on its own, nine on its own, ten on its own. 11 and 12 together. 13, 14, 15, 16 all on their own. 17 and 18 together. 19 on its own. 20 on its own, 21 and 22 on their own, 23 and 24 together, 25 on its own, 26 on its own, 27 on its own, 28 on its own, 29 and 30 together, 31 on its own, 32 on its own, 33 on its own, 34 on its own, 35 and 36 into the next stitch. And we don't need to change colour at this point because we've now completed our circle. So I'm just going to slip stitch back into the beginning stitch, pull it through and cut off my end. Okay, so there is your finished circle of all of your rainbow colours. On the other side, you've got all of your ends forming their own little rainbow on the inside. So what I did when I was making mine yesterday is I'm just literally going to knot all of these ends together all the way along. Give them a little gentle tug in their pairs. Sorry, this is very fiddly. 
just to um you know sort of tighten up the uh the ends of the rounds really where you were where you were bringing in your new color you just want to make sure that you're giving that a little tug and making it as neat as possible on the other side and then i'm just going to tie them off in twos all the way along like i say you won't even see these eventually because um because they're all going to be stitched on the inside so not If you decide um, that you really love making these and you want to make quite a few, I actually set up a bit of a production line, if you like. So I kind of did everything in stages. I did all my circles, then I did all my knottings, then I uh, stitched them all up. It just, like I say, if you make a bit of a production line out of it, it you actually get really quite quick at each process. Tuck my two yellow ones. And then I'm just going to finish. We're going to sew that last orange end in. So the end, the tail, the yarn end that you finished with, don't knot that one in because we're actually going to stitch that one in just to finish it off properly. But all of your other ones, apart from the one that you finished with, are now all on the inside and all knotted beautifully. So I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm literally just going to snip just like that. No sewing in nothing which is exactly what we like now take your final yarn end and just to complete the shape of your circle a bit better just stitch that one in with a, a needle sew it in and again snip your end right we're now ready to do our very final round which is actually only half a round you'll see where all of your colors join that you've got a kind of a join line all the way down if you're quite clever put that i find it's put that on the fold because then it's just sort of hidden in there and you won't even really notice it okay so there is one very tiny little rainbow so now to finish it off bring in your red and just at the bottom right hand corner get your yarn in and join in your red just with a slip stitch then work another double crochet or a double crochet into that same stitch so that you've just got a nice corner there and now you're just simply going to work your way around the semicircle in double crochets just making sure that you are joining both sides together all the way around I didn't actually work any increases into this as I was doing it I maybe I just kept the stitches slightly looser possibly but I just didn't find the need to do any increases in it it gave it a bit of a kind of a wiggly outline so I'm just doing a fairly loose half round joining everything together and all of your, I think I've got a little end caught in there. All of your um, ends, as you'll see, are all tucked away inside. So we just carry on round. Again, there's something hugely satisfying about making these. Someone put a comment on the Instagram that they're, <laughs> they're like little rainbow Cornish pasties, which they are actually. And who doesn't love a good pasty? So we're coming to the end now. Near into the last stitch. Double crochet. And I'm going to finish off with a slip stitch as well to match the start. Snip your red. And pull it through. And there is one <laughs> very tiny little rainbow. So quick and so easy, I promise you that you'll have several hooked up before you know it. 
then I simply just stitch my ends through on that. This one as well. And then I'll just show you how I attach the little key fob. So let me find the key fob. There it is. So I just took another length of the red, thread it onto your needle. Tie a good two or three wrap and do three knot in the end and then poke it up through the centre of the magic ring that you made to start off with. Pull it up as far as you can and if you've got a little tiny end just tuck him away inside. Everything is very neatly just tucked away inside and then simply stitch your little keychain to the top a few times over to make sure that it's nice and secure I think one more and we'll be there and stitch it down tuck your end away inside and snip it off and there it is it really is that simple so I hope that um, helps you on your little rainbow journey. Lots and lots of fun. Let me know how you get on. And um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully I'm getting better. Hopefully that was all in shot. I'll find out now as I play it back. And um, yes, like I say, let me know how you get on.